Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm sure you can already see from today's title, we are going to be talking about what it's like being a law student and being an introvert. So basically, I wanted to do this video because I get a lot of comments about me being an introvert, me being a law student, and honestly speaking, I get a lot of comments that show that people have very intense misconceptions of what it's like being a law student. So I just wanted to come here, clear the air, and also to give sort of motivation to anyone who wants to be a law student but has been should i say put down by the people around them or given bad advice concerning what it's like being a law student so yeah let's get into this video i hope you enjoy it right so this video is going to be very chill and i'm just going to be talking off the top of my head stuff that i have experienced being a law student and i really hope that this encourages anybody who wants to be a law student yeah so basically what does it mean if somebody is an introvert so i'm sure we all know this that we have introverts and then we have extroverts and an introvert is basically someone who is like reserved and very introspective yeah very reserved very introspective someone who usually gets drained when they are like in a very bubbly and very packed environment so basically somebody who is an introvert is someone who likes to be alone a lot. another thing about introverts is that they are usually mistaken as like shy or rude yeah i personally think that most of the time when someone is an introvert and people want to describe them it's either you are given rude or you're given shy yeah most of the time people don't get both but um i for one would say that i guess rude more than i get shy um and honestly speaking you can meet an introvert who is neither rude nor shy that's just sometimes the energy that we give off i am not rude i just don't smile a lot yeah there are lots of introverts who are not shy they just don't talk a lot that's just basically what it is another thing about introverts is that they don't really like being in the spotlight and they just like to be in the background see how things are going at the back and not really be the center of attention That's basically like the textbook explanation of who an introvert is basically when you think of an introvert those are the things you think of and when you think of all these things and you think that this is how all introverts are and you decide to address people who call themselves introverts based on all these things you are definitely going to mishandling the situation if i should say because i personally am an introvert and all these things do not apply to me a lot of people are introverts and a lot of these things do not apply to them and so basically yes we have introverts yes we have extroverts but there's like a huge gap in between who an introvert is and who an extrovert is and majority of people just find themselves in the middle i for yes i'm an introvert do I like being in the spotlight? Yes, I do. I, for one, am an introvert. Do I prefer being in a crowded place, being around people or being alone? I definitely prefer being around people than being alone. People say that introverts are people who like to charge when they are alone, like recharge their social battery. I, that's not who I am, but yes, I'm an introvert so yeah that's basically what it means to be an introvert yes there's a wide explanation given to who introverts are but we have different types of introverts different people yeah and people say i'm rude i have a rude face on i talk like i'm being rude that's not who i sometimes am sometimes introverts don't even like know what's going on on their faces most of the time they don't want to seem rude they just come off that way so yeah a lot of people like to say this thing that introverts wouldn't make good law students or wouldn't make good lawyers and obviously they don't know what they are saying because that's a huge lie that's so not true that's like a terrible thing for you to say to somebody who's an introvert yeah, so basically there are lots of things that make introverts really really great candidates for law school and i would just like to go through some of these things so that people can see that 
they need to keep their opinions to themselves yeah so right so another thing that people think about being an introvert is that they feel like introverts don't know how to talk in public introverts can easily be put down when they are in a conversation and that is totally false that is not the case um, so basically as an introvert do I talk a lot in class yes I do once I enjoy the class I definitely will have something to say I definitely always contribute to the conversation unless maybe I'm not in a good mood or I'm just not enjoying the lecture that much but I always have something to say that is not the case for most introverts yes most introverts are like selective speakers if I should say we like to be quiet not necessarily waiting our turn to speak but we just choose which time we want to speak and we choose which time we don't want to speak basically and i'm sure a lot of you ha have like experienced this where an introvert decides to be quiet the whole maybe conversation or the whole meeting but once they do decide to speak they have a lot to bring to the table they have something very sensible and very basically they contribute to the conversation even though they don't speak that much so let's not assume that just because somebody doesn't like to speak all the time that means that they can't speak that's not the case and also like i said earlier a lot of people expect you to speak like how people speak in suits yelling all over the place that's not usually the case everybody gets their turn to speak nobody's shouting over somebody somebody's making a case and you're shouting hey stop speaking everybody gets the time to speak and also being silent when you want to be silent doesn't mean that you are not assertive or you are not confident that's definitely not the case yeah so another thing that another issue like that we can discuss is that introverts are like very good at focusing on one particular thing at a time and extroverts are not that great at doing that yeah so introverts actually enjoy when there's one thing happening at a time they prefer the calm to the hectic situation and that is definitely a plus for you when you go to law school because it's usually you solving one issue at a time taking things step by step it's not crazy commotion all the time it's usually you're given an issue you solve it you make sure you've solved it then you move on to the next one you take your time with it think deeply focus on that one particular thing and i mean that's what introverts are great at so introverts are great for law school yeah. so i think that's basically it um and of course i'll repeat this again that you should definitely if you want to go to law school you should definitely remove it from your mind that law school and being a lawyer is just like how you see it in the series and in the movies and in suits it's definitely not like that this is something that i learned like in my very first class in law school that remove your brain from your head and watch this suits mentality out of your mind because that's definitely not the case um yeah so don't think that it's going to be this crazy hectic environment i mean yeah sometimes crazy and hectic environments show up but your you being in, an introvert shouldn't stop you sis bro person yeah so all this is not to say that if you are an introvert you aren't shy you don't lack confidence you introverts are like those breaking down the walls and things all this is not to say that all this is to say that all introverts are not shy or rude or lacking confidence or lacking assertiveness and if you are an introvert and you do lack confidence and you do lack and you do lack assertiveness this shouldn't stop you from going to law school even because 
I always say this that confidence is an acquired skill so if you want to be confident just go and do confidence classes and go to law school once it's something you want to do once it's something you feel in your heart you should be doing please go and do it don't be afraid don't listen to the naysayers they always have something to say don't listen all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to comment down below and please please subscribe share this video to anybody who would be interested and follow me on instagram like follow me on instagram what are you doing just follow me on instagram it's fun it's fun on instagram Thank mm -hmm. you.